Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel Hub. In an earlier video I explained how to generate random passwords in Excel using letters, numbers and symbols. In this video I will show you how to assign these random passwords to different platforms using VBA. This is especially helpful if you want to use Excel to store all of your passwords. In other words, we want to be able to select a given platform such as Instagram and then change the password as shown here. Alternatively, we also want to be able to add a platform such as LinkedIn to our data validation list and then have the option of adding a password for this platform too. We will start by applying data validation to this cell here to allow us to select from a list of platforms in the platform column. We will then enter Visual Basic to create two macros, one which selects the appropriate cell in which the password should be pasted, and another which pastes the password in that cell. To start, let's select cell D7, enter the Data tab and click the Data Validation icon. Let's then select List. Within Source, we're going to use the Offset function because we want to be able to select from a dynamic list that contains all the values in the platform column. First, let's enter the reference cell, which is C12. We then type one, as we want to go one row down from this reference cell. We then enter zero, as we're only concerned with the platform column. Next, we can consider the height of the range. Here we can apply the count A function to count how many values are within the platform column. This enables our list to be dynamic, as the height will adjust when we add or remove entries from the platform column. Finally, we can type one, as our range is one column wide. Our list currently only shows Gmail, as this is the only entry in the platform column. Let's now add additional platforms, such as Instagram and Facebook, to test whether our list adjusts. As you can see, we can now either select Gmail, Instagram or Facebook. Next, we can enter Visual Basic and create a macro which selects the appropriate cell. To do this, let's first insert a module and let's call our macro select cell. Next, let's declare a variable, but before doing so, let's add option explicit at the top, which reminds us to declare the variable properly. We will call our variable finder and declare it as a range. Here we're telling VBA to find the value given in cell D7. In other words, we want it to find the platform we've selected within the platform column. Next, let's add the following if statement. This is telling VBA that if it finds the platform we have selected within the platform column, then it should select the cell to the right of it, which is where the password should be pasted. Next, we can write a macro which pastes the random password in this cell. Let's call this macro paste password. Firstly, we will copy the random password, which is in cell C5. We will then paste only the value of cell C5 in the active cell, i.e. the cell that is being selected. The reason we're pasting only the password value instead of the formula is to prevent our password from recalculating. Next, we can make cut copy mode false to clear the copied cell from our clipboard. We can then select cell D7. Finally, let's apply application screen updating around our code to make it faster. Now that we have both macros, we can call the paste password macro after this line of code.
Therefore, we're telling VBA that once it has selected the cell to the right of the one we're looking for in the platform column, it should paste the random password. Let's now exit Visual Basic and test the select cell macro. To do this, let's firstly insert a button. And let's assign the macro select cell. Let's give this button a meaningful name such as add password. Let's now test it out by clicking add password. As you can see, our Gmail password has been successfully assigned. Let's now add random passwords to Instagram and Facebook as well. Finally, let's try adding a new platform to our list, such as Hotmail, and then select it here. When we click Add Password, a new password is added for this platform too. So that's how you can use VBA to store all of your random passwords. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.